Determine which of the following points is the solution to the inequality. Okay, so essentially for this one, we basically just have to test each uh, set of points that are in the multiple choice question um, until we find one that is basically valid and satisfies the inequality. So I'm just going to go through the list here. Uh, first we have 0, 0. So all we do is, this is our x, this is our y, of course, and we just plug them into the inequality and see uh, if what comes out uh, basically makes sense. So we have 0 is greater than or equal to 0 minus 2 squared plus 3. That's going to give us uh, 2, negative 2 squared plus 3, 4 plus 3. And then we have 0 is greater than or equal to 7. That, of course, is incorrect. Next, we have 1 and 2. So again, plugging this in, 1 is our x, 2 is our y. We have 2 is greater than or equal to 1 minus 2 squared plus 3. And then we have 2 is greater than or equal to 1 minus 2 is negative 1 squared plus 3 greater than or equal to negative 1 squared is just positive 1 and then plus 3 will give us 4 so 2 is greater than or equal to 4 again not correct next we have 3 2 okay and so we'll have 2 is greater than or equal to 3 minus 2 squared plus 3 3 minus 2 is 1 and we end up with the same as before. Two is greater than or equal to four, which isn't correct. And so therefore we can tell that the last one, four and 12 will be correct because we have no other options, but uh, let's just plug it in just to be sure. So we have 12 greater than or equal to x, oops, four minus two squared plus three. Okay, so four minus two is two squared plus three. So we have 12 is greater than or equal to uh, four plus three, which is seven. And indeed 12 is greater than or equal to seven. It is greater than seven. And so that is our uh, set of points that satisfies the inequality. Okay, so that's all for this one. A bit tedious, but well, what can you do, okay? So I hope that helps. Thank you. Bye.